Seriously, why can't I have a job where it's actually bright when I leave for work? Wednesday, Katie and Allie. This is why I am not a fan of editors. I mean, I'm okay with the whole make my writing better through the editorial goodness, but editors differ on everything. And I assume that's why writers need to understand their editor. And for that matter, writers would have to find an editor with a similar style as themselves to write. God, this is harder than an actual marriage. And how do you go about courting an editor? I mean, do you send flowers and chocolates? Or do you send Shakespearean-esque poems that insinuate love between editors and writing? And what happens if you do successfully court an editor? Do you sign a prenup? Or are they entitled to half of everything that you write for the rest of your life? And I can see a divorce in the future. I mean, not because writers and editors don't love each other, but because of the other man or woman. You know, the publisher's editors, the editor that wants you to rewrite everything because they want nothing to do with your previous relationship. The editor that threatens you with a publishing hold just because the last paragraph is just not there, just needs to be tweaked just a little bit. When really, they see that sit-in structure from the first loving relationship, the relationship with that fling of an editor, and they want to make you pay. Because Penguin or some other publishing company assigned them to you. There were no chocolates, no Shakespeare, only an arranged marriage. And at this point, the writer usually is in therapy, taking Valium and having the equivalent of a midlife crisis, which oddly will be the topic of their next award-winning novel. And that is why I love and hate editors.